Hey guys, welcome back to Project Bodybuilding. Last year at the 2023 Arnold Classic, we had an interesting call. Most of the fans going into the show had Nick Walker as the favorite, coming off his third place finish from the prior Mr. Olympia. Even on show day, as fans were looking at the picks and the vids and some of the people that were in person, a lot of people still had Nick leading the pack. But at the end of the day, Samson snuck up and gained his first Arnold Classic title so far, beating Nick Walker. This of course caused some controversy. But the unfortunate thing is, while Samson has competed a bunch, we have yet to see these guys rematch due to Nick's untimely hamstring injury. We're going to see these guys at the Olympia soon enough, of course, and to be honest, after that huge prize money increase, we'll probably see them back at next year's Arnold. But for now, I do want to do a little rematch video, if you will. Samson just did back-to-back -back Arnolds doing the Arnold Ohio and the Arnold UK, both of which he placed second to Hottie Chupin. But what if Nick had showed up to this year's Arnold Classic, or maybe even the Arnold UK, looking like he did at the 2023 Arnold Classic? That's the question and purpose behind today's video, a rematch. In today's video, we are going to compare the 2023 Arnold Classic version of Nick against the 2024 Arnold Classic version of Samson Dowda, the Arnold Classic rematch. Now, I get that the 2022 Mr. Olympia version was better, but I'm trying to prove a point with this video, and this is the Arnold Classic rematch video. So we're just going to use the Arnold versions of these guys, not their best. And we all know by now that Samson was better at the Arnold UK, but this video is simply about who would have won the Arnold Ohio if these physiques stood next to each other. And by the way, when Nick Walker does end up competing at the New York Pro, I will use that version against probably Samson's best version, or at least one of his best versions, at least his current version, the 2024 Arnold UK. So I'm going to hold off on comparing these guys at their latest, but for now, we're just going to do the Arnold Classic rematch. So Nick was defeated by Samson in 2023, but would Nick be able to defeat Samson at this year's Arnold Classic? Let's jump into the video to find out. Here is the unseen Arnold Classic rematch. If you guys like these types of videos, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. We're starting with what is probably the most challenging pose of the entire comparison. It's like an apples and oranges thing here big time. And if you're in one camp or another, it's not going to seem close, but because they are so different, I think it actually makes it pretty close because there is really no wrong choice. Personally, I think there was a wrong choice, but look at it this way. Nick Walker looks like a freak, a mutant, that's his nickname. And if you come to the open division looking for freaky levels of mass and conditioning, then he's your guy for sure. He misses a little bit of the aesthetics, but those in Nick Walker's camp are going to say that mass and condition, even the freak factor, are just too undeniable. There will be another camp though that says Nick Walker looks looks like a brick, a fridge, insert funny insult here, and Samson is just so much better in terms of shape. And that is true, he beats Nick Walker in terms of aesthetics, pretty clearly. Now Samson does lead the freak factor in conditioning on the table, but people that have Samson winning are going to say that he wins on shape alone. So those are probably the two schools of thought out there. Again, I don't think either choice is necessarily bad, but I definitely think there is a more right answer. I believe that right answer is Nick Walker. Look, this is open bodybuilding. I'm all for more shapely guys winning, but you have to have more than just shape. Samson is huge, but pound for pound, Nick looks just as big, if not slightly bigger. And Nick also has the freak factor for sure on top of at least being right there in terms of overall muscularity. And in conditioning, well, that's just Nick Walker's bread and butter. Samson is blurry all over. Nick is 10 times more crisp and separated than Samson in every single body part. And in terms of the shape, to be honest, I'm not even super thrilled with Samson. The vacuum isn't that deep and that kind of throws me off. To be honest, I think he would have been better off not hitting it at all. And he talked about this actually. He said he couldn't suck it in all the way because he carved up a lot. But with the tilt he's rocking, the outline he cuts is pretty good though. But speaking of outlines, is Nick Walker really that bad in terms of aesthetic? Like, he is the mutant, you don't expect anything in terms of good shape from Nick. But I was fairly surprised when I saw this. His waist is fairly tight, especially for Nick's standards, and his taper is honestly okay. He's no Frank Saint or Sergio Oliva, but what I'm saying is for being a mass monster, this is fairly good. It's kind of reminiscent of Jay Cutler in a way. In an odd way, Jay was aesthetics in quotations, but at the same time, not at all. He was just so wide up top and had an okay waist for how big he was, so he was kind of forcing his way into some kind of aesthetics. But let's make no mistake about it, this isn't exactly pretty. But a similar thing that happened to Jay is what I feel happens to Nick Walker here. Now, we don't ask for the best lines in open, but I think he meets the threshold of bringing decent enough lines, and then he reigns supreme in muscularity and has the much better conditioning. Samson's shape is just not enough. It would be one thing if he brought great detail and lines, but was smaller. But he doesn't have the conditioning, he's basically just on par with Nick in terms of muscle at best, and Nick isn't sporting a bubble gut, so he doesn't automatically lose in shape. For me, this is what open is all about. I'm fine with seeing lines, but pushing the size and the shape as long as you don't outright lose your lines is going to reign supreme. If this was the Arnold UK Samson, I think the conversation would be a lot more interesting because he was sharper there, and that means he has more to work with to defeat Nick. But in these Arnold Classic Ohio versions, Nick has more of everything. But in these Arnold Classic Ohio versions, Nick has way more of everything except shape. And did you notice I didn't even mention the arms? Yeah, no need. We know who wins that area. Now, I do want to try to include margins again in this video. I tried that in another video, but I want to bring it back for this one. Let me know what you think about this system. I'm just going to include one point for regular wins as normal, but 1.5 wins will go to resounding winners of the poses. And if a pose is really close, I'll just 
just make it a small half point win. There won't be too many of these narrow wins or 1.5 wins because I think both of these guys are very good. And for something to be other than a one point victory to happen, someone has to completely knock it out of the park or seriously drop the ball, which doesn't happen too often, surprisingly. Like even in this post, as much as I like Nick, I'm limiting this to a one point victory. I think Samson at least has the shape going for him and that is his only saving grace, but it's a pretty major one. I think on that basis, Samson gets close enough. Some guys out there will even have Samson winning. A post needs to be so resounding that 90% of fans have a particular guy winning. And I think there's more than enough support for aesthetics and Samson out there to get plenty of votes. Personally, I think it's pretty clear based on my criteria, but let's be conservative and say Nick wins the front double scoring one point. I think we all know by now that the front lat spread is just an abysmal pose for Nick. He's working on it though. When he does post updates of this shot, I'm always impressed with how much better he looks compared to this previous version. But in 2023, basically all of his flaws are on display. The legs look stubby, he's not that wide in the shoulders to begin with, and that leads to fairly lackluster lats from the front as well, including very poor taper. I already knew this was going to be a foregone conclusion, hence why I didn't really try to find a higher quality photo for Nick. It just didn't matter. Now, Samson in the shot wasn't as good compared to his previous versions, but he still beats Nick pretty easily. In fact, I think he does earn an extra half a point. This is one of those poses where simultaneously Nick drops the ball, but Samson is pretty okay. Even with Samson's slightly bloated stomach hurting his taper, he just looks so far ahead of Nick. He has the better quads, the better taper upstairs, making Samson's overall X-frame much better, and Samson also wins the lats easily. This pose is always going to be an issue for Nick Walker just due to that structural and genetic limitation, but I'm eager to see how his new and improved front lat spread is going to work out. And he definitely needs it because right now, based on this version, anything would be an improvement. Now on the first side shot, the side chest, we return to a much more competitive pose. I think Samson has one of the best chests in open bodybuilding today, if not the best, but I think a lot of people would say the same about Nick Walker. Now Samson does have a great chest, that's why he's so good in this shot, he has those huge pecs, but Nick looks like an absolute tank. He's shorter, and he has taken advantage of that by filling out his frame and maxing it out. Sure, his chest isn't the best, that's a very unfortunate weak link to have in the side chest shot, but just about everywhere else, I have Nick beating Samson, at least through the upper body. Nick's side leg is much better than his front legs, for sure. His quad height is much better than his sweep is from the front, and he has some good hamstring drop. But Samson is obviously more massive. He maintains having a big size advantage in the legs, particularly in quad height. And in terms of detail, I think it's actually fairly close, contrary to what I expected. I think Nick is more conditioned for sure. He has the overall drier look and that kind of granite look synonymous with Branch Warren and Dorian Yates. But Samson does have some good lines throughout the side leg, even though he's not as peeled as Nick. So I think these guys are pretty close to each other in terms of the side leg. I personally like Nick Walker a little more, but I can see arguments for both. They both stack up fairly well. But in the upper body, like I said earlier, everything but the pecs is going to Nick. Forearm, buy and try, and the delt. But again, Samson is intruding on Nick's margin of victory here. Samson's arm and delt are pretty full, and in my opinion, good enough to at least make these areas somewhat contentious. But of course, let's go back to the pecs. I have Samson on all metrics, even detail. Nick's pecs weren't super striated, which benefits Samson because as we know by now, he doesn't do very well when it comes to those extra details. So Nick faltering here really benefits Samson. And in terms of just raw pec mass and fullness, it's Samson all day long. By a lot. His chest is just crazy full and round. And overall, that's what does it for Samson. Nick looks insanely thick developed everywhere and has the better conditioning and dryness and things like that, but Samson is at least close enough in every area like the side leg and the arm and the delt for his much better pecs to pull him over the finish line. Nick Walker's compact mass and better conditioning help limit this to a one point victory for Samson, but honestly that's pretty close too because I feel like Samson really has everything. He's very thick top to bottom as well as his detail is all right on top of his better chest, but I do think Nick is very very solid in this one, so for now I think I'm just going to limit this one to a one point victory for Samson. But now turning these guys around, we are returning to another open and shut case, but this time for Nick Walker. Nick has one of the best backs nowadays. Honestly, it may be a little underrated, but it's fantastic. And this photo doesn't do it justice. Take a look at some different photos and tell me that isn't maybe the third or the second best back in the world. The back alone is enough to absolutely destroy Samson in this pose. Nick even beat Samson in the lower body, and you probably wouldn't think that just based on how these guys' quads stacked up. But we'll get to the lower body in a second. Let's start with the backs first. In terms of detail, I have Nick. In terms of density and thickness, I definitely have Nick. In the arms and the shoulders, it's no question. And Nick takes that as well. His bicep peaks are just absolutely insane. The lower back also goes to Nick. Heck, even width is going to Nick Walker. And of course, so does conditioning. This is just crazy. On all metrics, Nick is the winner. There's really no need to say anything else. Samson doesn't win anything in the upper body. His back looks amateur compared to Nick's. And in the lower body, I also have Nick winning by a similar margin compared to the upper body too. Samson has a lot of size, a lot of quad sweep, but that's really about it. In terms of detail, it's no contest yet again. And even if we look closely, Nick is probably the more developed individual. For one, look at the hamstring 
fingers on Nick. They are just insane. And yes, I know he tore one, but I do believe it's the one that he prefers not to flex, so that's good. But just as is, his hamstrings are eating Samson's and then some. The level of development is mild ahead of Samson's. Nick doesn't just have the piano wire look, those are power lines running down there. They're absolutely so incredibly thick. And very separated too, much more separated than Samson's. And look just outside the hamstrings on Nick. The quad sweeps on Nick Walker's legs from the rear actually look pretty good. I would say they actually look better here than they did in the front shots. So he's not getting bullied here by any stretch of the imagination. And the glutes, well, they're also going in Nick's column. Nick doesn't have these super neat striations like a Ronnie Coleman or Phil Heath, for example, but we can see some faint ones and he's very dry here at the least. Samson's glutes are just way too soggy. We all know that by now. And this may be what they'll actually stay as for the rest of his career, who knows? But I can tell you this entire pose, lower body, upper body, the back, anything you want to look at is easily taken by Nick Walker. This is a resounding victory worthy of that extra half a point. The second back pose, the rear lat spread actually gets a little more contentious. Let's start with the lower body because again, it's going to Nick Walker easily. It's a rehash of the rear double. He easily wins down here. Now the back is a different story. Samson should be the wider guy. He's several inches taller and wider than Nick, but in terms of back width, they're probably even. Nick may even be ever so slightly wider, which is crazy to say, but he's at least right there. However, oddly enough, Samson is now the more detailed one. Nick has an overall dense quality to his back, but Samson has the more defined traps and spinal erectors. So overall, this pose is kind of flipped on its head from the previous one, or at least in the back department. But again, Nick has the very important aspect of within his column, just by a hair, not to mention a nice win in the lower body. But Samson is obviously very wide himself, with slightly better detail, while the lower body is definitely solid as well. So I think Samson does pull this one off, but it's going to be by a half point margin. Nick narrows this up because of the stellar lower body and for being as wide as Samson is. I do think plenty of people out there will have Nick winning. But to me, Samson is wide enough with the better detail, and the lower body is solid enough for him to take this pulse, but not by much. Now the side try is one of Nick's best shots, and I do think he wins fairly convincingly. Samson gets slightly closer than I initially thought though. However, Samson does have a couple of issues that Nick definitely capitalizes on. For one, there's the midsection. We'll touch on this more in the next polls, but at the 2024 Arnold, Samson's stomach was an issue. He kind of always had some lower stomach spillover in this pose, however, and that is still the case in this version. As you can see, there's just a little bit of stomach protrusion. And Nick is right there with the actual better stomach control, believe it or not, and the better set of washboard abs. Nick is actually winning the midsection hands down. Then another one of Samson's issues is the lack of separation and just throw in overall condition. And we know Nick Walker is known for that grainy hard look. Look at the side leg. Even in this awful photo, Nick is taking Samson to school in terms of detail there. Look at the abs again. There's more detail and separation there. And look at the tricep. Samson's is always blurry. It was finally a little more clearly separated from the rest of his arm at the Arnold, but I still want to see that skin be a little thinner. Nick Walker's tricep is clearly more defined on top of him actually having dealt striations. So Samson definitely has some weaknesses and unfortunately for him, all those happen to be strong points for Nick. But Samson Samson does get one important thing very correct, that being overall thickness and fullness from the side. From the side, he just looks massive like he did in the side chest shot. His side leg is huge and his pecs are bulging. Even the arm, by and try, look pretty thick. But maybe he's a little too full because again, Nick beats him on those details and in the stomach. And Nick is no slouch in overall thickness, but he's not as round and as full as Samson. The pecs kind of flatten out and overall he's not on Samson's level of round. But Nick brings plenty of raw mass, and oddly enough, he's actually the more streamlined physique here. And since Nick definitely hit the threshold of mass here to be close enough to Samson, I think him bringing the tighter waist, the better conditioning, and having the overall more aesthetic look actually helps Nick a lot. But we haven't even talked about the actual tricep yet. We talked about detail, which of course Nick Walker wins there, but I think Nick also wins the tricep mass as well. But that's not super unexpected since he has the best arms in the world right now based on the popular opinion. And if he doesn't beat Samson in overall mass, he's at least beating him proportionally, meaning Nick's tricep pound for pound is bigger than Samson's. He has the more perfect horseshoe shape, the better separation, and more than enough size, maybe even more than Samson. So Nick takes the namesake of the Pose. Then Nick takes the conditioning aspect top to bottom and he looks pretty freaky, but at the same time has the more streamlined physique compared to Samson. Samson just looks like a big pile of mass. That's what gets him close after all, all that mass and roundness. But he needs to chisel it down and reveal more of that thick tricep and some other details. And then if he just held his abs a little better, I think he can give Nick a pretty good run for his money. He definitely wouldn't need to change much. He's already pretty solid going against maybe one of, if not the best side tricep pose in the current era. I think for that alone, I gotta put this to one point. I really debated on this one though. I personally think it could be a 1.5 victory because I really like Nick's, but I also think Samson is good enough, and I try to be objective, so I'm just going to put this at a one-point victory for Nick Walker. Now in the abs and thighs, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Instead of hyping this up as a contest, I just, I just gotta make the controversial call and then try to defend myself. I have Nick Walker winning the abs and thighs. Yes, the fridge, the brick, Nick Walker is winning the abs and thighs against Mr. Mass with Class, Samson Dada. Pretty solidly too. Now I don't think it's a 1.5 margin of victory, but I think it's enough to give Nick one point. But of course, let me explain myself. Let me start by saying Nick does not look as bad as you might have thought in this pose. The legs are a bit stubby, sure, but then compare them to Samson. Sure, Samson's are huge, but Nick schools him in terms of 
detail. And in terms of sweep and this pose at least, I think they look okay. They've certainly looked worse in other poses. Samson just doesn't show any detail at all. And in the abs, at least in Samson's twisting variation is close. Now Samson's head on abs and thighs pose absolutely sucks. I didn't even bother to include it because Samson would have actually lost by 1.5 points. At least here in the twisting shot, the abs themselves and the obliques on Samson are solid. But Nick can actually hit this pose head on and not look terrible. And that's a plus. And Nick's abs are very good. They're that good type of blocky and the separation between them is really deep. Now I don't have to address the gut issue. One of these guys clearly does have a little bit of a stomach issue, but let me tell you, it's not Nick. Nope, Samson is sporting that classic turtle shell look of the mid 2010s. I don't care if it's not super bad or whatever. I don't care if the abs on top of it look fine. This is by definition a bubble gut. Sure, it's a bit on the smaller side, but that is stomach protrusion. Did you ever think you'd see a comparison where Nick is the one being praised for his stomach control? I certainly didn't, let alone in a comparison with Samson Dowda. But it's true, Samson not only had an issue with it in this pose, but he did throughout this entire competition. He was a bit bloated and he was breathing through his stomach a lot throughout the show. And I will include that as a factor in this pose, because right now it's on full display. Sure, Samson's abs and obliques look pretty good, but that turtle shell look hurts him. He's very lucky Nick has some flaws too, like stubby legs and very minimal taper, but honestly, I'm close to making this a 1.5 win for Nick. To me, it just says a lot when Nick is dominating a pose like this. Like when you're losing the abs and thighs to Nick Walker, it definitely says a lot about where you are as a competitor. I'm going to move on quickly so I don't change my mind, but I do kind of feel that this one point win for Nick is actually kind of a gift to Samson. The final pose of this comparison, the most muscular, is also a little different from what I was expecting. I mean, with a comparison that has Nick Walker in it, usually he's running away with this one. But while I think it's a fairly decisive win, Samson does do some things right. The main thing that Samson gets right is the size and the fullness, if you want to group that in there. Samson has improved a couple of body parts too, like the arms and delts. So overall, he's extremely thick in the chest, the delts are finally capping off more, and the arms sweep more on either side of his arms. Not to mention, the legs are huge. But the main problem with Samson is, of course, that lack of detail. He has a lot of mass, but hardly any refinement and lacks that polish. This is actually where Nick Walker wins and takes the pose. Nick was a bit flatter at the 2023 Arnold Classic, so to be fair, I think this would be a resounding victory if we were using the 2022 Olympia version, but I digress. With Nick's flatter look, he sold himself a bit short in the chest, a little in the legs, and in a couple of other places. But with this slightly flatter, less freaky look, he brought those details for sure. From top to bottom in every muscle group, once again, Nick wins in terms of conditioning. It's not even close. So, of course, he has the better details, but he's also very thickly developed too. Sure, he's not as bursting full with Samson, but Nick carries plenty of raw mass. The legs are alright, still on the narrow side for sure, and I think Samson's legs are very good in this pose, so I would actually have Samson on the wheels. But Nick's aren't as bad as I thought they would be, and his separation really helps him against Samson. Now going upstairs to the midsection, I don't want to hear anything about Nick's. He yet again is beating Samson here easily. Samson is trying to cover it up with his execution, but we can all see it. It looks bloated, he has stomach distension, and his abs are very shallow here. Nick has a wide waist, but he's keeping it locked in, and his abs are so much better. So this area is actually a slam dunk for Nick, but let's keep going. In the pecs, and either variation of Nick's, I have him losing. Like I said, he just lacks the fullness from his other previous versions, and he needs that since his chest was always on the weaker side. Samson at least brings some striations here, and again, he's just so full and thick. But in Nick's leftmost photo, he ekes out some more chest striations, and I like that. But his pecs are fairly flat, and we saw that in the side chest. So I think Samson probably does win this area. He's obviously thicker, and this is the one area where he has okay detail. He still needs to have some way thinner skin here, though. Now in the arms and delts, I would go with Nick. He has some of the best delts in the world right now, and probably the best arms, but I think Chris has the better arms if you ask me, while Samson has fairly thin arms and delts. He just has longer limbs, so it's taken him some time to fill them in, but I think he really stepped up his game at this contest. The delts are much bigger and the arms are thicker too, both buys and tries. And he's pretty round too, but with that he has an overall softer look for him. Nick's delts, especially in the right photo, are just huge and have that drier granite look to them. Now in the arms, I do have to say, this is fairly close. Don't get me wrong, Samson from the front double cannot hold a candle to Nick's arms, but when they have their arms together like this and kind of closed up, and we're viewing them like this, Samson's fullness and overall mass help him a lot. I still think Nick wins, but really not by that much. And that may get me in trouble, but besides quality, what does Nick beat Samson in? Samson has the bursting full arms, so he gets a lot closer than I'm sure a lot of people would like to admit. I'm not saying Samson has the better arms, he definitely doesn't, but in this pose, in this photo, with this level of fullness, Samson holds his own against the best arms in the world. Now that we went body part to body part, let's zoom out and examine the physiques as a whole. And overall, Samson with his height, and now that he's filling his frame out more, he actually could become a problem for Nick surprisingly, at least for this flatter version. I think part of the reason this is getting close was because Nick was not his normal self, and Samson was super full. Maybe too full for other poses, but in this one, that's a-okay. But Samson overall is just a big guy who's finally getting around to filling his big frame. But Nick is extremely muscular pound for pound. He's very stout, and he has the superior detail by far. Against the leftmost photo and Samson's photo, I think it's actually pretty close. I think Nick looks a lot better and compares a lot better. I think it's still pretty close look at Samson's legs, delts, arms, and chest, but I think Nick clearly does enough in the size department while doing more than enough in 
and conditioning to win. However, I'm actually more impressed by Samson, I have to be honest. Nick really needs that Olympia version to win this polls big. He still wins, but because of Samson's overwhelming size, I'm limiting this to a half point margin. This last pose was definitely a battle, and I know I will definitely get shit in the comments for that. So go ahead and let me know if you'd make this a 0.5, 1 point, or 1.5 margin for Nick in this pose. Or let me know if you have Samson winning and let me know why. I see arguments for both my head, but leave me your thoughts on this one down in the comments. But for now, with my thoughts personally, I have to go with Nick. But as for his margin, it's a little too close for comfort. Well, that was an interesting comparison. First, before we get to the results of this comparison, let's go back to 2023. When the 2023 Arnold was happening live, I personally had Nick Walker winning all the way up until the results were actually called, and of course, Nick only placed second and Samson won the show. And I believe I was actually in the majority for that opinion. Most of the coverage I saw had Nick Walker as the winner before Samson actually won, and even after the show, I saw a lot of videos about how Nick should have won. And if I'm not mistaken, I did a video around the Arnold after the fact, and that was still my opinion even after the show. So keep that in mind, but now let's return to 2024. Samson Dowd was probably bigger here in 2024, but is he better? I think it's kind of a draw. Samson was better, but his condition and polish were a bit worse. I think finer details and overall condition were better in 2023. And for me, that's worth more than the added size gains. Some will like the added size gains, but I do prefer the opposite. And also, Samson's stomach issue is a bad mark on the 2024 version. The 2023 version was overall more polished, not just in terms of the physique, but in presentation as well. And keep in mind, I already had Nick beating the 2023 version of Samson on show day and the days after. So it's not looking good for 2024 Samson, but let's take a look at the scorecard. And sure enough, Nick won five poses and actually scored five points as well. And Samson won three poses and scored three points. And I know it may not seem like a slam dunk for Nick because there's only just two poses between these guys, but when we consider everything, it's a fairly convincing win. Look at the poses. Nick won five, we know that, but look at the margins. Nick had one low point in the front last spread, sure, but he quickly nullified that by having a resounding win on the rear double. And Samson won one of his poses by just a half point margin, that being the rear last spread. And to be fair, I think Nick was very, very close to making the side chest just a half point margin as well. And perhaps I should make that a one point margin because Nick looked like a tank and had the better details. He only really lost the pecs. Samson just looks so big though and did in fact have the better chest. I won't change it now, but just keep in mind that that side chest pose was extremely close. Barely a one point margin there. And honestly, maybe a half point margin now that I'm looking back at it. So Nick not only won more poses, but he won his poses by more comfortable margins than Samson won his by. Now let's consider what I call the whole physique categories. Muscularity, including size and completeness, conditioning, shape, and flaws. Now in terms of muscularity, I would give Nick the edge. Samson is getting a lot bigger and fuller, so he's getting closer to Nick. But Nick is still pound for pound a tad bigger, I would say. And if that doesn't convince you, take a look at overall completeness and development. Samson is working on his weak points and is bringing things like his back, delts, and arms up. But Nick, while he is weak in the quad sweeps, for example, he brings better overall development when we add both guys' body parts all together. So overall, Nick wins muscularity. And in terms of conditioning, I don't think we really need to talk about it. It's not close. Nick was granite hard. He always is. Samson's biggest weakness, in fact, is his condition. So Nick wins this category easily. Now, when it comes to shape, Samson does win here. But Nick is no longer automatically disqualifying himself. Is his waist thicker? Sure, but we saw in a couple of poses that it looked all right despite that. He even won the abs and thighs, for example. Samson definitely wins this, but Nick is at least in the same room, even if that room is quite large and Samson is clear on the other side. Now, in terms of flaws, no guy is safe. For Nick, he does have a thicker waist, and I don't think it was a huge problem this time around. To me, the stubby legs were honestly the bigger problem of the two. They had plenty of detail, and they were pretty developed, they just don't have the sweep. And it's not like his overall legs are weak, his hamstrings are insane, and he took Samson to school there. Now, Samson had a pretty major flaw, at least to me. It's the stomach. Watch the actual videos from the 2024 Arnold if you don't believe it was a problem. And don't just take my word for it, Tyler Main and an actual judge at the Arnold said the same thing. And there was also a slight amount of gyno going on. It's not super bad, and how bad it actually is kind of depends on the lighting. So in the grand scheme of things, it's probably not super big under there, but it was big enough that me and some others noticed it. So overall, I think Nick Walker's legs from the front and the thicker waist are kind of a double whammy, at least for those front shots. He was dead on arrival in one, but he did straight up win the other one. Samson's flaws may be smaller from a physique standpoint, point, but they still matter. A bloated midsection is an awful flaw to have. It's hard to say whose flaws are worse, but I'm kind of leaning towards Nick. Not by much, though, because neither guy is perfect. But Nick's flaws are working together to undermine him heavily in a couple of poses. Not to mention they're just kind of down to the way he's built, structurally and in terms of musculature. So I think Samson does win this category with the less impactful flaws. So let's sum this up now. Samson won two of the four categories, but not by much. Nick won his two categories by more, and then you can add a big win in the mandatories on top of that. And I think altogether, Samson doesn't do enough to win. Shape is great, and I think in terms of muscularity, he has enough, but the lack of conditioning hurts him a ton, and the fact that he's standing next to Nick Walker, who just excels in muscularity, doesn't help at all. Samson may be a 9 out of 10 in that department, but Nick is an 11 out of 10. Now, I still think this is somewhat close, don't get me wrong. To go back to what I said in the first pose, there will be two schools of thoughts on these two physiques. Either you think Samson can afford to lose muscularity, completeness, and conditioning, 
getting by a lot, all because he makes up for it in shape over Nick Walker. Or you may be like me and appreciate what Samson brings, but Nick just brings too much raw mass and conditioning to be denied. Again, it's not super close if you look at the competition while you're firmly in one camp, but because it breaks down so cleanly into two schools of thought, that makes it close, ironically, because most people are split down the middle. For me, Nick Walker was undeniable. He has too much muscle and far away the superior condition for Samson to win on shape. Objectively, too, this is open bodybuilding. If you want shape, we have classic. In the open, you can't come in with a bubble gut for sure, but if you have enough size and great condition, you can outwork guys with better shape if they lose in the other two categories. Now, the open has been like this for a while, but based on what we saw last year's Arnold, shape mattered so much that Nick's better conditioning and completeness wasn't enough. So maybe that would have happened again, but if it did, I would disagree with it for sure, just like I did in 2023. So keep in mind, I'm not saying this would have been the judges' outcome. Maybe they would have screwed Nick Walker again like they did last year, in my opinion, but here's who I think should have won had these two stepped on stage. To answer the question, who wins the unseen Arnold Classic rematch, I'm going with the undeniable size, completeness, muscularity, and freak factor. I'm going with the mutant Nick Walker. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. I know this one will probably cause some controversy. The fans are pretty split on this one, so leave me your thoughts down below. Tell me why you think one guy wins over the other. And if you guys like these types of comparison videos, hit the like button and subscribe for more. By the way, if you guys are looking for any high quality supplements to help you in your bodybuilding journey, be sure to check out Arms Race Nutrition. Then at checkout, be sure to use my code PROJECT10 for 10% off your entire order. That's code PROJECT10 at armsracenutrition.com. Finally, with all that said, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Yeah.